All right, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about the hands, the grip, the wrists. Um, very, very important. The most speed uh, that comes in the golf swing is from the arms and the hands. Yes, the, the lower body and the upper body play a big role in that, but ultimately what produces the most speed and what moves the fastest are the arms and club, or arms and hands, and then the thing that's moving the fastest is obviously the club. Um, so the arms and hands produce a lot of speed, and so it's important to make sure that your arms and hands are moving in a way that allows you to produce speed. Um, and uh, I've already done videos kind of on the, the lower body, how it moves, how the upper body moves, and how the arms move. Uh, so be sure to like, follow, subscribe, uh, reach out if you have any questions, comment on these videos. Um, I see everything and I'm on this stuff on a, on a pre pretty regular basis because most of, most of what I do is online. Um, but checking out the, uh, the hands. So what I like to do is again, put the left arm on top of the chest and then just make a straight line with the club. And you can see my thumb is kind of on the trail side of the grip on the top side. I like to make sure that the heel pad is on top, not on the side and the palm, heel pad is on top, and uh, these three, uh, four fingers are wrapped underneath, and that's, that's where most of the pressure is, and underneath and these fingers pulling up, because that's what allows you to create hinge, and having that pad on top and all that good stuff allows you to have a great hold on it, and you'll create maximum hinge, be able to create maximum speed with it. Um, this would be kind of considered a neutral grip. I'm okay if it's a little bit stronger than that, but just like anything, you can go too much one way or you could go too much the other. I like to be uh, kind of right in the middle, okay? So once you have that position there, then the trail hand just comes from underneath. I like an overlapping grip pinky fits right in between the index finger and the middle finger right in that gap. Um, you know, interlocking is fine. Ten finger is fine. Um, it's just about like keeping your hands close together and making sure that they're just in the proper rotations to begin with that suits you and your swing. I do not like to see weak grips at all. I do not like to see open club faces. Uh, neither should you. Golf is very difficult with an open face. You can play with a square face or a, or a strong grip and a slightly closed face, um, but you, you just can't play golf with an open club face. It's just not even fun. Um, but, all right, so looking at this overlapping grip, uh, thumb co basically covers this nail, goes across the grip at an angle, basically the side of my thumb, is on the grip, some of the thumb is actually off. And so um, I like to have a little bit of a trigger here, a little bit of a space, and um, basically that V of the trail hand is going up to the trail shoulder. I don't like to see it going outside of the trail shoulder, and I don't like to see it going to the middle of the body. So like basically the right pet, right shoulder area that's where you want that. And then with the lead hand, um, anywhere from like the left peck to middle is totally fine. And so that's what you look for in the grip. Now, um, we already kind of talked about the arm movement. So the left arm rotates, the right arm folds. And as that's happening, all, that's gonna, all that you're going to do with the hands is the wrist just feel like they hinge up. I feel like since, um, since the club is aligned here with the lead arm, the club is kind of pointing to the lead side. And so when this hand comes in from underneath and the hands hinge, you can see that it kind of goes up towards the trail shoulder. And so that's basically all that I feel is I feel like as I'm rotating, as I'm rotating back, the arms are rotating and folding and the hands are hinging. And that's what puts the club right on plane. And so as, as you'll see with all these videos, you know, I, I urge you to go back and watch the lower body video 
then watch the upper body video, then watch the arm video, then watch the hands and see how everything relates to each other. Everything is relating to each other. And so again, in the back swing, there's just, it's basically just rotation and leverage. And I feel like it's just all one movement, all one movement. I'm rotating to the top, I'm leveraging to the top, I'm hinging my hands to the top uh, or my wrist to the top and I'm folding my trail arm to the top. And as long as your lower body is rotating properly, your upper body is rotating and your arms are following that and your, your hands, your wrists are hinging, that's what puts the club on plane. That's how you make the golf swing very simple is you have a good setup, you rotate everything together and leverage the golf club and that's what puts you in a perfect position and then from here again you're going to push and rotate from the inside of the trail leg and it basically just feels like you're letting gravity bring the club down and then right about here you're going to start unhinging and releasing and that's how you create maximum so again, it's the, it's the function of proper hand position, proper grip. Don't mind to have a little bit of a longer thumb, but as long as it, the, the grip is under this heel pad, you can create full leverage and then you can unhinge that, okay? And then the trail hand, as long as you have the you know, proper trigger and the pressure down there, um, then you can, you can rotate and leverage the club fully that's a fully uh, maxed out position right here. And then I can rotate and I can release. And this is a fully maxed out position right here. So I like to just max out everything with my positions. And so like I can rotate my lower body around this brace as much as I want. And then I can rotate it around this brace as much as I want. My upper body, can rotate as much as it wants by staying in posture, and then it can rotate as much as it wants by staying in posture. The arms, the right arm can, can fold, and as long as it keeps its space, it can go as much as it wants, and then it has all this room to create power on the way through. Lead arm, it can rotate back, and that's a full maxed out position there. And then I can rotate and release it. And that's a full maxed out position there. And then as long as my hands are in a position to create maximum hinge, not over hinging, but again, I can max out my wrists there. And then I can max out my speed through the golf ball. Everything's working in order. And that's how from the feet to the head, everything moves.